Hi, Robot Man here. Today we're looking at hubs. Is your hub driving you a little bit crazy? Does it keep needing to update? Does it have errors? Well, today we're going to fix it, okay? Awesome! So I found that whenever I connected my hub to my iPad or hub to a computer, I'd get this message on the screen to say that there was an update available and it was constantly asking me to update my hub. And sometimes when I would press update, I would get this error message that would say that something went wrong and I was going a bit crazy. But I found if I went into my projects and created a new project and then I went into the connection tab, clicked on the little three dots there that said reset settings, then that actually updated the hub without much fuss. In fact, I didn't get any error messages when I did this. So I, that was a quick way to get rid of error messages. But I found the best way was to actually uniquely name each hub and make sure that that hub matched a device. So if I used an iPad, I made sure that my robot was called, my hub was called Robot E and my iPad was called E and I always use the same iPad with the same robot. And if I had F, I labeled it both of them F and I use those two together all the time. But also make sure that the cables were right. You've got to make sure it's plugged in properly. You've got to make sure that the cables aren't damaged. And sometimes I would just turn the iPad off and turn the iPad back on again if there were problems. If you're still having problems, maybe something you could try is just turning off and turning on again, taking the battery out, putting the battery back in, deleting the app, really storing the app. If you're still having hub issues, well, here's another video that I made that might help you. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you soon on the Robot Man channel. Tell your friends.